History happened here. Two-minute tales from the archives of the Historical Society of Pottawatomie County. In 1934, two monuments were placed that probably go completely unnoticed to most folks today. But they're a connection point with Council Bluff's very earliest times and a Jesuit priest who braved the rugged wilderness to bring salvation to those he thought needed it most. That is the location of the first building constructed in, and it wasn't Canesville, it, was, it wasn't Council Bluffs, it was really nothing. It was a part of the reservation, 1830 Indian Relocation Act that was championed and pushed through by one Andrew Jackson. There's no way to color it other than to say it was an ethnic cleansing, so to speak. They needed to get natives out of where the American settlers wanted to be. So they would offer them whatever. And at the time, this was frontier. This was the interior. It was Louisiana purchased. Nobody was here. Uh, so they sent them over. So they were here for a while and they needed protection from the Lakota, uh, the, otherwise known as the Sioux, who were also being moved from the Great Lakes area to the Black Hills. And the Lakota were fierce horse warriors and they liked to attack other groups and the Potawatomi were among them. So the United States sent a dragoon of troops to build a military blockhouse uh, which was, from all accounts, two or three buildings that included the blockhouse that housed the military for a short time. Ironically enough, we had a who's who of generals and military people here in Council Bluffs coming through that blockhouse. Stephen Carney, Leavenworth, Long, Stephen Long, uh, Charles Atkinson was here. A whole bunch of people coming through here. All of these people coming through that touched on places that most people drive by and have no idea what's there. And when the military was done with it in 1839, uh, Father DeSmet came through and needed a place to house a mission. And I, and I always imagine that they just kind of said, sure, what do we care? You know, we're, we're leaving. And so uh, DeSmet in his letter certainly makes a big deal out of the fact that they donated the building and gave it to the Jesuits to house their their mission. Father Gene DeSmet arrived here via a steamer and was riding up from St. Joe. He was told to expect upwards of 500 natives who would be clamoring to see him, that he was this rock star missionary and they were gonna be there and greet him. And certainly there were several people there. There were about a hundred people there to greet him. And he, then he realized that they were there for the booze that they thought was going to arrive on the steamboat with him. And they kind of overlooked him. And so his very first impression of his trip to what would become Council Bluffs was certainly one of disappointment. And that probably sums up his entire experience here. Uh, Father Gene DeSmet, who was by all accounts, a uh, very loving person and tried his best to what he thought was in his mind, help the poor savages. And I put that in quotes because that was the prevailing thought at the time. These poor savages, uh, we want to rid them of their pesky religion and their traditional ways of, and even their language and convert them to the loving arms of Jesus. And they thought they were doing the right thing, except that the natives didn't see that, the Potawatomi didn't see it that way. He did get quite a few converts, but because alcohol was a tool for the U.S. government to keep the natives in line, they kept sending it through their unscrupulous traders, and the Potawatomi did not respond well to alcohol at all. They would trade everything to get it. They would sell their family members if they could, and it just sparked a lot of violence and bloodshed and horrific tales um, that Father DeSmet describes in his journals, so much so that he sort of gave up. And when the first opportunity presented itself for him to take his mission, uh, his missionary ways upriver, he went with that and left a couple years later. History is never truly lost 
until it's forgotten. And preserving that history is our mission. The Historical Society of Pottawatomie County in Council Bluffs, Iowa.